dialogue is weak. What he means is there are people who he doesn't agree with who ideally would be excluded from the argument. Now, ideally, I think we can exclude them when we like, and I'm trying to uh, sink his ship. You know, I've gotten uh, a scientific discussion, has apparently erased his channel, all his videos were taken down. Uh, Zorio erased all of his videos that he attacked me with. Piano as the Remedy decided not to fight with me. It's my goal to get uh, Professor Anton to erase his channel, and uh, maybe even quit teaching and go buy a farm or something. He says the interactive aspect of YouTube is very, very weak, right? Even though it's the strongest interactive medium that we can imagine. And there's such a time lapse between a comment and a response. There can be minutes, hours, days. But I wouldn't say as he does that there's a time lapse between comment and response. There's a potential time lapse. And in that potential time lapse is perhaps your very deficiency, your gold nugget. Because people who didn't see that video six months ago, haven't missed out on it. And if they go post a comment on it, it's very likely to get to the video owner somehow, and the video owner may come back and comment, or somebody else may comment profitably. In other words, the time lag is part of the value, but he wants it to be immediate. He wants an intellectual who puts a statement out there to be given immediate recognition, because he doesn't imagine that he's part of the rabble-rousing, you know, uh, people who are up at 4 a.m. waiting for the pizza to come and decide they're going to correct Isaac Newton. He doesn't think he's part of that crowd. He's part of the uplifted crowd. And there's so much misunderstanding, largely because of the equal playing field. Now, I want to draw attention again to that. He doesn't want the uh, guy who's waiting for his pizza at 4 a.m. to be able to come into the conversation. He wants that guy to have to listen to people like Professor Anton. He says it's because of the equal playing field. Now, when did you ever think you would hear a professor talk bad about equality? They want equality in everything. They're egalitarians. And yet he doesn't want an equal playing field as far as ideas go. I think if there were more sort of open dialogue, you could get a range of what someone's knowledge base is and be able to hone in on exactly what you have to prove to the other person that you're knowledgeable enough and that that area about that area and still disagree fine going back to the beginning of that mess he says that he wants more of an open dialogue what is more open than the dialogue that goes around on YouTube what's more open than that everybody is to be answered to every is to answer to everyone else potential um, and if you get blocked from coming on someone's channel you can actually put up a video about them uh, so well, I don't know what's, what does he mean by open dialogue. It probably means they need to shut up and listen more, maybe, huh? In a previous video, I was suggesting that people need to read a certain author in order to know about a certain topic. Okay, he wants to retake that back now. It was more, you know, that there's a classic example where there was a person that was dogmatically espousing a political view that was he was wearing like a fashion badge. I think not even realizing that they were even doing it, and then they were sort of suggesting that they didn't even need to read any more than that, because as an anarchist, what more do you need to know? I mean, they have their Bible. It's the Unabomber Manifesto. You know, he thinks the Unabomber Manifesto is ridiculous and can be dismissed, even though he doesn't think anything is real and there's no re reality independent of us, so how could we judge anything at all? But the Unabomber's Manifesto, that's ridiculous. Then he says, and then I wonder, is this person sort of giving a prayer? Is it a cry for help? Uh, pause there. Professor Anton's videos are a cry for help into the ether. Is it a person just in vain, a vain attempt to gratify themselves? Professor Anton. Is it a genuine need for self-worth and value? And who is anyone to say anyone is beyond recognition of their ideas? Right. We'll throw that in the end there just because... We wouldn't want to end by saying anything. You would have to muffle it before you finish your sentence. This next paragraph. Um, different people have different, at di different ideas at different stages of life. And I think all of us, hopefully, are willing to be vulnerable enough to grow. To be vulnerable enough to grow. Bad metaphor. Bad choice of words. Um, and to say that 
people have different ideas at different stages of life is uh, ridiculous. True, but why do you say that? I think YouTube, though, is perhaps not the best medium for dialogue. What could be better? Unless he wants it to be live and now and in person, he doesn't want his stuff to be open to any comer for years or something like that. What? What? What's... Okay, it's not the best medium for dialogue. It's a good medium for sharing maybe books. <laughs> it's not good for having a back and forth dialogue, no, because there's videos and you can respond with videos and then there are comment sections. No. No, wait. He thinks it's good for sharing books. Does he have a book? Yes, he does have a book. Maybe a channel that, um, my channel, perhaps, become more book-oriented channel, where I will read uh, particular books, perhaps my books, in a little bit more detail, uh, and I would like people to think more about educational programming. Full stop. By educational programming, he means the nonsense he's espousing. I think that if I saw evidence, and I do see it, and I'm excited about it, I think that some network mumbled, he mumbled that some network is a clear example of this evidence, but what's the evidence? More interactive dialogue and more attempts to really engage book culture here on YouTube readings together, books together, and close analysis perhaps in inviting authors to talk about their works. Maybe he has an author in mind. So, he doesn't like the dialogue aspect of YouTube because uh, people don't pay enough heed to his book or books. All right, so here's, or that was the summary of the last paragraph, but here's a summary of the whole, that whole page and then this top bit here is now there. I think there's a YouTuber experience. By that I mean someone who actually participates in YouTube through videos, etc. Where a person makes a video about something and hopes it matters. However, people aren't taking ideas seriously, and they just want to be heard saying them, but maybe that's not the case here. Because of, an, because of an anonymity and loneliness that is perhaps in our culture, people feel a need to gain self-esteem through arguing on YouTube. See the work by Becker. Though YouTube definitely has more personality than conventional means of communicating, words could be more about what than who, but I think YouTubers genuinely want to share knowledge and I could see a service where YouTube lets you charge people for watching your videos for a fee. I think YouTube is, a good, is good for sharing and learning ideas but not for debate because of the disconnect between debaters. For instance, time lag and because it's very easy to just say that the other person needs to read more and if, as they aren't there to prove it. As an example, uh, I had was an anarchist who was ignorant and didn't want to learn anything else. It was like he was just trying in vain uh, to get self-esteem. I hope people will be vulnerable enough to let any ideas in. Perhaps my videos will become more of me just quoting books and giving my thoughts on them. YouTube should become more like this and perhaps authors will do the same for their books on YouTube. Now, that's not really interpreting him, it's just taking his sentences and trying to cut out some of the incipient verbal diarrhea that's involved. But now we get to the good part. Three summary sentences for the entire video. Two summary sentences back to back that are interesting and then a Freudian one just for the hell of it because Professor Anton probably likes Freud. Some people on YouTube like to debate. I think that they should be more open to ideas. That's one summary. Now that's a very disconnected, disjointed summary. Some people on YouTube like to debate, but I think they should be more open to ideas. I think that's a fair summary. Or try this one. Because I can't back up the BS that I'm saying, I want to just say my crap and not have to de debate or defend it. And then we could add there, because I wrote a book. And then here's the Freudian one. People need to stay vulnerable in order for me to penetrate them. He'll like that. Incipient verbal diarrhea, IVD, um, has been diagnosed in this case. 